welcome back in this second tutorial in learning AutoCAD we will be learning the next set of commands suppose I have one line and I want to create a parallel line to this line so for that offset command is used you can click here or you can also key in from keyboard giving O enter I will choose from here so offset then specify offset distance at what distance you want the offset suppose I want offset as distance of 5 then press enter then select object to offset so which object you want to offset click on that and give the side on which side you want the offset suppose I want offset on this side so just click there so offset will be created if the offset command is still running you can again select the other object and give the other side also I can select this and if you want to change the offset distance that also possible in this new version suppose I give the distance of 10 so your offset will be created at a distance of 10 so in this way you can change the distance during the command to come out you just have to press enter or you can also click on this exit so you will come out of the offset command and suppose I have this one line uh, this this set of lines I want to cut this line from this line I want to cut this line above this line this much line I want to cut so for cutting the object trim command is there shortcut for trim is tr trim then he has uh, asked me to select cutting edges here if you see he is asking me to select cutting edges cutting edges are the reference edges with the reference of which you want to cut suppose uh, I want to cut with respect to I want to cut this this much line so this will be my cutting edge then press enter then select object to trim what you don't want you click on that so it will be trimmed and to come out just press enter to come out of the trim command suppose I want to cut from this point to this point and this point to this point then again trim then this time cutting edges will be I want to cut from this point to this point so this line will be cutting edge and this la from here for this part this line will be the cutting edge then press enter then select object to trim what you want to trim press enter to come out so in this way you can use the trim command one more uh, option is there to use the trim command if we see the trim command there is one more option is there select all if uh, to select this option we just have to press enter then in this option what happens it selects all the line as a cutting edge so you can directly click on the line that you want to trim so you don't have to individually select the cutting edges so this is also a very useful option you can come out by pressing enter suppose I want to make a particular portion bigger I want to zoom there so keep this uh, plus sign cursor uh, in that area and scroll mouse towards monitor side Sc rotate the mouse uh, mouse scroll towards monitor side it will make it zoom plus if you rotate the scroll towards your side user side it will make zoom minus and if you want to make the pan press down the pan and drag the mouse in a direction desired direction so that will make the plan and if you want to zoom extend just double click the scroll so it will zoom extend so in this way you zoom plus zoom minus pan double clicking zoom extend and this command can be done from here also if you want to do pan just click on the pan press down the first button of the mouse and drag it so it will give the pan if you want to come out you can press escape to come out or here also zoom extend is there or different zoom command has been given here here zoom window is there if you want to see a particular area just click first corner and second corner so that much area will be zoomed so in this way you can use the zoom command from here also suppose I have some object I 
and I want to check what is the length of this line so for checking there is measure tool has been given here first uh, in that distance command is there he is asking me to specify first point click on the first point before clicking also he is showing you the length but if you click it will give detail, in, uh, detail information click on the side other side then here you can see the actual length of the line then here length on y axis and this is the length on x axis and this is the angle upon x angle from x axis so detail information you can get from distance if you want to check the radius of the circle then radius option is there click on the circle so he is showing you the radius and the diameter both thing then if you want to check the angle between these two lines then click on the angle click first line click on second line so it will be showing you the angle what is the angle between if you want to ch check the area of this complete shape then click on area then he is asking me to click on the first corner whatever area is there you start with first point and click on all the connecting points and then press enter so it will show you the area and the perimeter of that particular shape if I want to check the area of the circle then you have to go to again area now for a circle there are no points are there to click so for that here object option has been given just click on the object option and click on the circle so in this way you can check the area and circumference of the circle and suppose I want for this outside object I check the area by clicking on the point suppose uh, I want to create a single object of this outside object and click the area of the complete shape to do uh, that what we have to do we have to join this object so for that join command has been given here just click all the lines then press enter so this object will be converted into a single object after that you can use the here from here area command you can use this command separately from here also area now this has been outside object has been converted into object you can take the object option and click on that object so it will directly sh show you the area and the perimeter you don't have to click on each and every point of it and uh, here is the volume option once we create the 3d object you can check the volume of that object also to come out just press on the exit button so that's all we will stop here thanks for joining